Um, let me just wardrobe change. Do a little wardrobe change. Sometimes it's good to do a little wardrobe change. You know what I'm saying? Yes, mama. Do you believe? Okay, let me stop. Hi, beauties and girls, and welcome back for another video. It is Melissa Q. I just had a little wardrobe change. Yes, because I'm popping out these videos. Pop out. <laughs> no pun intended. I am getting through some videos today, but you are at the right channel. Don't fret. Yes, if you hadn't hit the subscribe button, go ahead. I can wait. I can wait. <laughs> Wakanda forever. Y'all gonna see me doing that. I saw I saw a meme that this does not mean no anymore. This means Wakanda forever. Okay. And that was just so hilarious on Instagram. But anyway, so in case you didn't know, I post video content in relation to beauty videos, reviews, natural hair, and I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I also do lifestyle videos. I am so excited that you are here. So let's just get straight into the video. And oh geez, don't think I forgot you. Thank you so much for coming back over and over again. Thank you, girl. Virtual high five, mm, fist pump, mm chest pump. Mm. Today's video is talking about February empties. Y'all know I have project 300. So we are counting down from 300 down to zero. Zero. You know what I'm saying? We are trying to get through 300. And these are mostly things that I already have. Like I'm not trying to buy stuff. I am trying to cut down and get through some stuff. So let's just hop right in. Let me show you what I have been getting through and I have finished. Yes. So I am dedicating this as the empty bag for the year. So we are going to go through some things. I have hair. I have skincare. I think I have a couple of things in makeup, but we're going to get through it. The first thing I have is this. And y'all, excuse me if the bottles look kind of crazy. This is the L'Occitane shower oil. Y'all, if y'all want spa at home, this is what you want to go to. This is my favorite shower gel. It has jumped up like this is when I the kids have gotten on my nerves. I don't want to talk to the husband right now because I need my me time. This is what I pull out and I use in the shower. You can use it in the tub if you take a bath. But this it gives such a light foam. I know some of you have talked about that. You don't know what this really does. It is like a shower oil, so it's not going to foam up like a soap soap, but it does cleanse the skin. I highly recommend this for super dry skin, especially with the wind blowing and it being so cold right now. This is so good, but spring is coming, but this is still a luxury product. And yes, I would purchase it again. Y'all, <laughs> mama don't play, okay? Got a whole nother bottle. That'll be in a current favorites because I just went through this. Oh, by the way, I know back in the day, I used to say I'm gonna toss it or floss it. Let's bring that back. Either I'm gonna toss it or I'm gonna floss it. This I shall floss, yes. Thank you for watching. So the next thing I have is a sweet Skylar Smooth Naturals All Over uh, Hair and Body Shampoo. I really, really like this. I'm gonna get through these, but I feel like I would repurchase this just because I can use it on my hair and body. You know, the philosophy I can't use, and it's supposed to be shampoo, bubble bath, I would use it as a bubble bath and shower oil, but definitely not in my hair. But this is sulfate free. I really do like it. It comes in this scent is sweet Skylar. So it smells like pink sugar. That's actually what it smells like. It is phenomenal. I would repurchase this. So this is a floss. Okay, so the next product, this is the Laneige Balancing Emulsion. I couldn't get any of this out, any more of this out. But <clears throat> this was sent to me. I did like it. I didn't see the results of it I, I i like a skincare system so it says it's supposed to like purify and perfect with mineral water optimal mineral water don't know what that means but i do really enjoy a lot of laneige products this one it just i didn't know what it was supposed to do and i looked at the directions and still didn't know what it was supposed to do so if anybody knows like what it truly is supposed to do let me know because I didn't get it but I wouldn't repurchase that in terms of a skincare system yes by itself no so it's a floss toss you know what I'm saying Camille Rose natural almond dry twist butter this is OG for me oh gee yes this y'all mm, this is um the best the best amazing this is the supple skin oil from L'Occitane yes I would repurchase it 
hello got the big bottle but this is so good this is an oil i love using oils on my skin after hopping out of the shower or out of the tub this is so so good so yes and yes i use my travel my travel i like to use my travel stuff first this is another one now if you can tell there's a reoccurring fame and these and that these travel ones came out of the what is that the calendar uh the l'occitane calendar the advent calendar that's what i wanted to say for christmas so this is the verbena gel louche lo douche gel gel sh shower gel this smells so good if you like lemon fresh scents you're gonna like this and i would repurchase this y'all think i'm gonna repurchase this this is a toss Be why is because the garnier skin active micellar cleansing water this removes makeup but i don't like this i felt like it was such a struggle to use so i was like no more i have way too many other things so uh yeah i'm going to toss this don't like it i like the one with the pink bottle i like bioderma i like the l'oreal one with the pink top but the blue one that's all oily on the eyes make you blind for like about 30 minutes no mm -mm. moving on okay that's a toss this is a floss i wish i would have gotten a whole bunch of these more sometimes when body wash is on sale i will try more body washes but this is the soft soap honey cream and lavender this smells so good i did not realize how much i like lavender and like body washes and you know just calming at night but i take i like to take my showers really at night to be honest with you this smells so good i think i have two of these yes this is a floss this honey lavender is the truth if you like sweet but like soft and beautiful this makes me feel like like an ice princess in spring summer it's a floss Okay, this is a toss and I've got this from Laneige and this is the brightening sparkling water foam cleanser. I really did like this, but I noticed something. This is the reason why it is a toss because um, this is a toss because I can use it in the summertime. It kind of dries out my skin in the winter and I want something year round. So I hope that makes sense. It's not a bad product, but it's not a year round product for me. If you have oily skin, you probably would really like this just because I feel like it says brightens, detoxifies, exfoliates for clear, smoother skin. It's infused with sparkling water. Laneige is really, really good y'all, but this was way too drying on my skin in the winter months. I felt like it, my skin was tight. And so when, when I say something like that, this means that it would probably be good for somebody with oily skin. So it's good, but not for my skin type. This is Philosophy Snow Angel. I told you that I do like this as a bubble bath and a body wash, but I won't use this as a as a shampoo, as it says. I won't. Uh, somebody maybe with oilier hair, my hair is dry, maybe so, but it smells really good. I got this as a gift from one of my son's um teachers so this was really nice i love that the oil uh the olay ultra moisture this is a body wash and i got it i think like in some type of beauty bag or whatever i don't like oil olay 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 i don't like oily body washes i just feel like they don't do they don't do anything i know i know that sounds funny like if it foams it cleans it does whatever but I just know from other body washes how my skin is supposed to feel and this one actually it does not foam as much and don't get me wrong I know that the shower oil doesn't but it's a, it's a shower oil it's a moisturizing this I feel like it's lacking I feel like I need to take go in and wash with another body wash behind this so I would not repurchase that that would be a toss these are the sweet spot wipes we have talked about these you know yes this is in my hygiene regimen these are great if you have a teenager if you have a young person if you have a girl that you just want to pop this in their purse this is great this is the co coconut lime it smells really really good i have a few more of these yes i will repurchase this is so good this is the l'oreal hydrogenous and i can't get any more out of this but this is phenomenal 
I feel like that this is a moisturizer from the drugstore that works as a high-end product. Like I felt like this was a dupe to the Aqua Bomb by Belief and I really do like this. Like this is really good. And if you are oily, you definitely want to get the, the, the combination the oily one, but this is great because it is a moisturizing gel. So I really, really like this. I would definitely repurchase. I need to get through some moisturizers, so I'm not going to repurchase it right now, but I definitely would. This is another one. This is the cucumber green tea. Yes, yes, yes. I do like this one and I love the lavender. That's the one I'm using right now. This is a Maxtro cream. Yes. Uh, I really don't have to repurchase these because I get these a lot, but if I had to repurchase it, would I repurchase it? I feel like that there's so many dupes of this that is as good, um, that are even cruelty free and vegan. So Maxtro cream, yes and no. I would use it because I'm not cruelty free or vegan. Um, unfortunately, not yet. When I, I need to find products to replace what I have that's just as good or better and that's the reason why I just like I, I just keep going back to NARS to be honest with you and make it forever and neither one of those are cruelty free yet but um I can replace other things so I won't be repurchasing this but I will use it if they throw it in a bag or something I hope that makes sense because I did get that in an empty bag this is the Clinique this is the take off the whatever the what is it take the face off for the day or whatever this is I can't see it so long I mean it's so small but I've totally used this up and this I use it you put it on your face and it melts off all your makeup this is really good I actually really like it in the stick um, form because you can take it travel with you and um, it's just portable so I really like that This is a Smooth Naturals Nourishing Oil Cleanser. I like this a lot. It made my face feel very cleansed and it's like a herbal form, so I really like that. This is the, this is from Bath & Body Works. This is their Shea Butter Vanilla uh, Buttercream Hand Cream. I would not repurchase it. I do have a couple of these that I'm going to use up, but I wouldn't repurchase this just because L'Occitane Hand Cream, hands down, is my favorite. And I feel like Instead of getting four or five of these, let me just get the L'Occitane and it lasts for like five years, okay? This is the Zoom Lash by MAC. Would I purchase this? Um, I feel like that there are a lot of drugstore that's better than this, so no, I wouldn't repurchase that. Um, this is a Lorac, Lorac, this is a Lorac Luster Cream and the shade Lady in Waiting. This was such a great lip gloss and I try to scrape, as you can tell, as much as possible. I really like Lorac lip glosses. I feel like that these are underhyped and they need to get more attention. I think I have another one at my office that I have finished off, but I really did like this. So I would repurchase this. This is the Glyco uh, This is the Pixi Glow Tonic. Amazing, one of my favorite uh, glycolic acids in terms of toner. I really do like this. Now, Derma E has one that's like this and I wanna try the, the ordinary which is like seven or eight dollars this is like fifteen dollars for this one i think no for the one that's smaller than this i think it's fifteen dollars this one may be fifteen dollars i don't know but it's a little bit more expensive than the other ones and the derma e works just as well i need to see the price for that but if they cost more i'll stick with this and if it's readily available, I would repurchase this if it's readily available. Sometimes it's hard to find this now because everybody knows how good it is. But uh, Derma E and I want to try The Ordinary because my girl Kiko Beauty just did a review on it and she was raving about it. I want to try it. And she talked about the Pixie Glow Tonic. And I think you could buy two of The Ordinary for one of the Pixie Glow Tonic. So if The Ordinary is just as good, I won't repurchase that. So we'll see. Okay, so I have a couple of hand creams. This is a L'Occitane. This was a travel one. Yes, I would repurchase <laughs> NARS. My Radiant Creamy Concealer in Biscuit finally went out. And um, it was still some more product in here but i'm gonna tell you it started to get dry and looking weird under my eyes and when the consistency changes of a product it is time to throw it out so yeah this had to go anyway this is the mary Kay. this is the hydrating gel this is so so good i will repurchase this once i place an order Ooh. 
<laughs> I would repurchase this once I place an order to Mary Kay, but I really did enjoy this. It makes your foundation glide on like nobody else's business. Glam Glow, this is the Super Mud. This is so good. This one is really great for if you have like breakouts and everything. I like to keep this around just for breakouts as well as my Kate Somerville, but I really do like this. Um, she has like a drying lotion. I thought I had more empties than that. Okay, so I'm so glad I got through this. This is the NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. Nitra B years ago introduced me to this and I love this. I'm almost done. I've finished this one. I'm almost done with the larger one and I have another one, but this is the mini. I love this. I know I have the oiliest lids ever and this one just does so well for me. I do need to try some other ones. I do have some other eyeshadow bases that I could try, but this I'm so glad that I got through and that I have one more empty. Hold on just a second. I didn't know I had gone through this much stuff, but the last thing I have is my pre-cleanse. I knew I had finished this. I love this product. I feel like that this is, it's good. I, you know, there's other cleansing oils that I've had, but this one, I really like how it turns into a milky texture. The only thing I don't like is that I feel like sometimes when I pump out the product, I get too much and it runs out of my hand and I end up losing product that way. So sometimes I do prefer balms over liquids but this is such a great product it does lock it's a lock pump so I really do enjoy that too so thanks so much for watching you guys uh, that is those are my empties for the month of February that was a whole lot to do in 28 days you think you think a lot of these were like halfway done so yeah but I'm gonna give you the running total right here of what we currently have and yeah thanks so much for watching you guys you tend to really like my empties videos so let's toss it or floss it let's not keep around things that we don't love and yeah let's just embrace the things that we do but let's get through some things that we already have in our surroundings so we are not wasting money you guys because you know this is a lifestyle channel I'm all about saving some money but at the same time embracing what you love and letting go of the things that don't work for you because there will be things that don't work for you you won't absolutely love everything and it's okay so thanks so much for watching and I will see beautiful you in the next video